Hey guys and welcome back to the fourth uh, video of this uh, series. In this case we have the Adobe Premiere rendering times um, on the Mac Mini uh, comparison to see how good uh, this machine goes on this particular uh, software. So in here we are using a 10 minutes footage H.264 uh, rendering with no effects at all. So if you are planning on uh, using your machine and if you are planning not to, to use effects, uh, here's an idea of the timings that you can get. And let's take a look at the graphic. So the Mac Mini to render out uh, these 10 minutes took 14 minutes and 6 seconds. Um, as we can see in the, the screenshot that I'll put here, um, took 14 minutes to render 10 minutes is not a great time but is capable and you can <laughs> manage to work with uh, as long um, the macbook pro took um, and if you haven't watched the specs of the macbook pro and uh, which macbook pro check the, the earlier videos where i'll talk about all the machines that uh, i'm testing out uh, the macbook pro took uh, 11 minutes and one uh, second my main workstation took seven minutes and 18 seconds so half of the time of um, the mac mini regarding this um, software adobe premiere and um, well to be honest you can work with it you will lose time we are talking about 10 minutes so if you are working with big video files uh, one hour and things like that documentals uh, it will take <laughs> just multiply and uh, you will see the time that you will lose um, uh, on the other uh, on the other systems so now let's take a look at um, adobe premiere but with effects and these effects are um, just for example purposes um, but um, for instance, the curves, I always use curves and uh, fast color correction, almost always when necessary. Sharpen, not so much, but, but still. And these are the ones that I use for benchmarking, which really pushes the GPU. Uh, and of course, Mac Mini doesn't have a dedicated GPU, so let's see how it goes. Same 10 minutes, same video file, took 45 minutes to render. Now here... Uh, the Mac Mini really efforts and the, the, the CPU was maxed out uh, rendering this this file took 45 minutes to render a 10 minutes uh, video file with these effects which is not um, very very <laughs> workable the MacBook Pro on the other hand took 11 minutes and 58 if we see the the graphic sorry if we see the graphic of the Adobe with no effects. The MacBook Pro took eleven minutes, and the i7 seven minutes, and with the effects, the MacBook Pro takes eleven minutes, and the forty-seven seventy-k takes seven minutes and forty-three. This is due specially to the GPU, uh, not the CPU, not the RAM, but the GPU makes this effort here. Uh, while the Mac Mini has the integrated HD 4000, which doesn't accelerate, especially these effects that are all uh, CUDA accelerated. So uh, having this in mind, if you are working with Adobe Premiere, you might want to think twice before getting a Mac Mini, um, especially if you are using effects, which is um, most definitely you are. Uh, Mac Mini will not be the most suitable machine so in in the first video i said there are a few limitations and in adobe premiere rendering uh, it is one limitation you can do everything uh, and i work in uh, real time without dropping many frames uh, i'm just working with a one uh, 180p uh, 1080p uh, resolution um, videos uh, so I'm not working with 4K and things like that but um, it doesn't drop me frames as I said uh, when you push the effects you start dropping uh, a lot of frames and when rendering uh, you're gonna have to uh, for a video file that is a one hour long for example you have to 
place it to render, go to sleep, and the next day <laughs> will be ready. So this is my consideration regarding Adobe Premiere Time. Um, it's not the perfect machine for that. Uh, I'm sorry to say that it, it is not. So in my case, it was not the purpose. It was not to use uh, Adobe Premiere, as I said on the previous video. But uh, still, you, you might want to get a thing that covers everything. But if you're into video editing, stay tuned for the next video because you will have a, a nice surprise for you if you want the Mac Mini. And um, well, stay tuned. So if you uh, are willing to just jump to the next video uh, and thanks for watching.